Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of July 2024. If this reading resonates with you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate everybody on here for all of your support. Um, I haven't been uploading in a few months because I do have stage 4 cancer. So um, I'm sure that a lot of you know I've been uploading a few videos. So again, thank you to everybody for your ongoing support. So this is for my Taurus's love life. We're going to look at the recent past, current energy, and the predictive outcome for your love life for this month, um, Taurus. Let's take a look. What happened in the recent past in Taurus's love life spirit? So we have the judgment card. The Ten of Cups, and one more for Taurus Spirit. Okay, two came out. Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So, in the recent past, Taurus, I feel like um, there was a decision that had to be made. And it was for a relationship. It was something to do with um, your happiness for your future, moving forward. I feel like that there was this decision that had to be made, but... For some reason, things either, things didn't move forward in the way that you planned on it, or somebody here took a step back and, you know, realized that possibly that this is not what they wanted. So let me clarify, clarify the judgment card for Taurus Spirit. I have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this could have been um, between two people is what I'm getting, Taurus. There was a decision made between two people that had to be made. And um, Taurus, I feel like you... I feel like one... Of, I feel like you, Taurus, you were in not so good of... Um, position at this time to take up some offer financially I, mean, I feel like you could have been going through something financially or something to do with your um you know your employment there was something insecure or unstable that was going on with you at the time that that could have triggered things to not move forward with you and this person because i feel like the other person was and i feel like you were not emotionally available as well uh, I feel like the other person was very emotionally available. And this is someone that the other person would always, um, or the person you were connecting to, this is someone that they were always there when they needed to talk to them. And whereas you were not always openly there emotionally as well. Um, and I feel like whoever it is that you were dealing with, they took, you know, that step to be with that person, they could have just cut you off. Maybe they just stopped talking to you all in all, or things just didn't move forward. Tell me about the eight of uh, wands in reverse for Taurus spirit in the recent past. Yeah, we got the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person really pulled back. Could have been a water sign, have strong water here. I have air and I have earth and I have Scorpio, but strong water uh, and fire. Um, yeah, this person really... It's like they took back what they said to you or they took back what, how they meant, how they felt about you even. Maybe they even told you that, like, I don't feel the same way anymore about you. And they went ahead with somebody else. And I feel like with that Eight of Swords in reverse, you finally broke through this. Like, you finally realized, like, look, um, like, this is really happening. This person didn't choose me or is not choosing me. Um, I really need to focus on myself. I really need to, you know, realize that I need to do me right now. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, let's look at your current energy. What's currently going on with Taurus's love life at this time, Spirit? Give me three cards. So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the two of cups. So you're currently dealing with someone here where the feelings are mutual between you and this person. 
you exchange feelings here, but there's been a missed opportunity is what I'm getting. It's like the feelings are there, but nobody's making a move. Nobody's offering anything. Nobody is taking things further to the next level with that Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody is still, somebody is kind of like nervous maybe to take the next step, to take the initiative, but there are feelings there. Water and earth here as well. Tell, tell me why the Knight of Cups is in reverse for Taurus. Aquarius energy with the star in reverse. Somebody's not sure yet. Somebody is not truly sure that they should move this along. Again, whoever it may be, whether it's you or this person. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Uh, we have the Judgment card in reverse. Libra energy. Somebody could be... I'm just going to say this. Is a, could, this might only be for one person. Somebody could be going through some sort of divorce. doesn't have to be. Or somebody... Like a divorce or some sort of lawsuit where they've lost some sort of money. Or something to do with their job where they've lost their job. Maybe this is still you, Taurus. Maybe you're still not ready financially and you're dealing with a lot of legal things right now. And it's like you can't offer this person more than what you have at this time. It's like, yes, you like this person. The feelings are there. But at this time, there's not much more that you can give to this connection. Tell me about the two of cups for Virgo. or Sorry, for Taurus spirit. Uh, we have the... Page of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Again, you're not offering anything here. I feel like that's you. I feel like it's both of you. Both of you. I feel like this person is, is kind of like mimicking what you're doing. Maybe you haven't told this person like openly of exactly what it is that you're currently going through. And it's like kind of... I wouldn't say scaring this person, but it's it's making this person feel like unmotivated to want to um, pursue you more. What's going to be the predictive outcome for Taurus's love life for July 2024, Spirit? Give me three cards. What's going to be the predictive outcome for Taurus's love life for the remainder of July 2024? That's too many. One more card. What's going to be the predictive outcome for Taurus's love life? Uh, that's too many. Way too many. We'll take this one there. So we have the devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. The four of swords and the seven of pentacles. So for the remainder of the month, Taurus, I feel like you're making better decisions moving forward. You're, you're, you're making better, healthier decisions. You're going to become in a much better mind state. Um, you're trying to like be a better influence to yourself. But I feel like you're there's a, there's a lot of, it's like the waiting game here. You're kind of taking a step back again. You're taking another step back. You might even take a break from this person. You might even want to just take a break to kind of really assess your situation and realize where exactly... Um, where exactly you're going to grow from, what exactly is worth planting your seeds? Like, where are you going to, if you plant your seeds with this connection, will you see growth there? Will you see growth? Will you see more opportunity there? It's like, you're really kind of taking a step back to really assess the situation here in your life. And if that's, you know, not with love, it's like saying that, you know, in terms of work, it's like you just, you want to have a more healthier, a better mind state in the month of July. And even if it resolves in you having to take some sort of time off from work, and to just reassess what it is 
you're putting your time and effort into, you know? That's what I get, Taurus. Hope it resonates, and I'll see you guys again.